So it's finally time to level up your game when it comes to your LinkedIn profile. If we're just meeting, my name is Caroline Raven. I'm a full-time magician, YouTuber, and content creator, and I help people like myself, entertainers, performers, content creators, small business owners, with everything that they need to know to be able to make this into a living. In this short video, I'm gonna try to show you just a few things you can do to make sure your profile on LinkedIn is optimized and beautiful and it looks amazing. So let's jump right into this. I usually recommend doing an update on your site at least, at least once a year, but please do it every six months because there's so many things happening in your life, in your career, so why not take the advantage of actually updating this? But just think about this. If somebody, a regular person, not you because you're awesome and you're a superhero and all of that stuff, I think of it this way. You know how people change relationship status on Facebook? It's kind of the same thing on LinkedIn whenever they have a new job or whatever it is and people go all crazy and all that's so fun and they cheer on each other. And I want you to have that in mind. When you create this profile, I want you to think about this. Like who is it that you want your target audience or network to see on here, okay? So start with the first thing. Let's start with the profile photo. This is the one that I currently have. I change them up uh, from time to time because I think it's kind of nice to be able to do that. You can also here decide who you want to be able to see these photos of yourself. Sometimes I do have it to anyone, but I do prefer to have LinkedIn members. The reason I want to have LinkedIn members is because I want to know who is into my profile. Because if I see the um, CEO of a company that I want to work for, or the executive assistant, or whoever it is, then I can see, oh my God, they saw my profile, then I can you know, go in and stalk them a little bit too and make sure that we end up working together because I do magic for a living. That was not cringe at all. Moving on. So you can also change your profile photo here. You will do that by going into add a photo, upload photo. Okay, that's not very hard. Here we go. And then this here is your banner. I see now that mine has been cropped for some reason, so the quality is not perfect. I'm gonna have this one changed. You do that by pressing the little pen up here. You can zoom in and out and straighten or whatever it is that you want to do. You can even add some filters on top if you want to. And then you can delete it, of course. You can also change the photo quite easily here. When it comes to your banner on LinkedIn, there is a measurement that you want to keep in mind. And I wrote it down because it's numbers that are not easy to remember. So for width, that was a hard word when you're Swedish. For width, width, for width, <laughs> that's the one we're going with. It's 1,584 pixels. And then for height, it's 396. You can even see it here. It's very long and not very high. That's what you want to do. If you don't know how to make one, the easiest way is to go into Canva. I already prepared one here for you. This is the exact size. You will set the size up here. You can search here or linked in the background photo. This is the one you want to go with. What you do here is, is you drag a photo in and it will change it for you. So whichever one you decide on, you drag it in here and then you just download it. Here you want to have your name, obviously. This just means that I have verifications. You can send in a photo of yourself on a passport or whatever to verify that you are who you say you are. And then when it comes to this text down here, you do have 220 characters to use when it comes to your headline, what it is that you do. But I would recommend not using all of them so it doesn't look all spammy. So decide on which ones is most important to you. I see here that I can actually change this a little bit because I am now an author. So I can go down all the way down here, change this. Okay, that's some Swedish for you. Okay, so now mine says professional magician, MC, 5X TEDx speaker, and author. Fantastic. Well done, Caroline. Oh, by the way, if you're getting any value of this, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, this is a great time to take that little moment and just press subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when the next video comes out. Thank me later. Moving on. Here you can change your contact information, where you want people to go. You can add a button here and you do that by add custom button. Visit my website. Here I can put my, my website. There we go. And then you want to scroll down 
And this about page, you wanna change this one up. You do that by pressing the pen. Make sure that this one is updated, okay? This is something that will change all the time. Like in my case, I just wrote a book, so now I can add that to my headline. I should also add that to my about page. But make it easy, make it simple. People are not gonna read the whole thing. Put the most important thing at the top, and then, you know, whatever it is that you have done in the past. You can also add skills to your profile, and that you would do by going into your platform. Then you will go into the top here, add profile, add profile selection, add skills, and then here you can, maybe they have magic, let's see, magic, <laughs> why not? Show us where you use the skills, well I used it all here, I also used it here, there we go, I added magic to my skills, who knew? Now you want to scroll down, and here, this is your featured. So, if you're going on tour, if you are releasing a book, if you are turning 10 years and as a professional entertainer, this is what you want to put here. If you have a big press release or something, the featured is going to be shown at the very top of your LinkedIn profile. So whenever somebody goes into your profile, that's what they're going to see first. Kind of the same thing as the pinned posts on Instagram. And then here your skills will be put down here and your recommendations and the honors you've had. All of these things you can just add. It's very, very simple. So those are a few different things that you want to think about when creating a professional LinkedIn. Now you might have run into a different problem and that is what to post on LinkedIn. That's a great question. I do have a video up here that you can go check out. There is also a 30 day free content plan for you in the description below. You can check that one out and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.